Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to Civilization 6. Because my previous videos on the Australia update did pretty well, I figured I'd give it another go with a regular um, game <laughs> instead of a scenario. But um, I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting than the one I did for America, because that one wasn't being watched a whole lot, and I can't blame you, because the difficulty was very low, so it wasn't very interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go for a standard size map, it's going to be fractal, so it's very random. Game speed is going to be standard, and game difficulty will be set to immortal. As for the leader, I'm going for a random leader, and I'm just going to roll with whatever I get, and hope for the best, and try to make it work. Alright, so let's get started and see what we roll. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man to quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. Tlatoan in Montezuma. Keep your eagle warriors happy and fed, and they will forever fight for your cause. As your Aztec empire unfurls across the land, you will never want for people to raise your walls, for you will be blessed with new loyal workers as you conquer those around you. Go forth. Hoochly a calls. <laughs> Hoochly a <laughs> Okay, so we rolled the Aztec Empire. Um, let's see. Gifts for the Tlatuani. Luxury resources in this territory provide an amenity to act two extra cities. Military units receive plus one combat strength for each different luxury resource improved in Aztec lands. And we have Legend of the Five Sons, spent builder charges to complete 20% of the original district cost. That could be very powerful indeed. Alright, then we as our unique unit we have the Eagle Warrior and we have the Tlachtli as a unique building, which I think is an entertainment building. Alright, so for this game we're going to want to grow far and wide, probably do some combat and yeah, grow a really, really big empire. Alright, so let's see where we where we land. Alright, so we have Jade, we have Stone, we have Furs, uh, Furs over here as well, Stone, Coffee, Coffee is actually within range too, Fresh Water from the Little Lake over here, this is actually a really good start, a really, really good start. So let's settle right here, Tenochtitlan. Alright, and as for our Aztec Warrior, let's see what we can find in the direction of the horses. A river, and rice, cattle, more horses, alright, good. Um, as for our first building order, let's go for a scout. As for research, I think, um, actually, let's see, we could get uh, one production done on this, one gold, free food. Actually, for now, I want you to work this mine right there, and I think the best plan is to go for mining straight away, so that we can get to the stone and the jade improved, and maybe make a mine on that hill tile there as well. Feel pretty good about this. Alright, let's go towards the horses over here because I see there's another river. So the goal right now is to find good places for a second settlement. Alright, so we have our first scout. Let's immediately try to take care of that, of that guy. Let's go for the next turn. Let's see if we can... Uh, Kill it entirely, it would be good to get rid of this scout. But of course we can't, alright. So in that case, let's uh, just go towards the jade, see what we can find. Nothing really. Follow the river. Oh, we have mercury, we have first. This could be a good place for a second settlement, right here. That would be very nice indeed. Alright. Yes, indeed. All right, let's get our scouts to go towards the northeast and for Tenochtitlan. Let us get a builder, I think, because then we can improve these two things right off the bat. That should lead to more production and then we can, uh, well, the monument should help out a little bit as well. You know what? Builder first. Yeah, improve these tiles, get some more production out of them. I think that's pretty good. Also, welcome to the United States of America. <laughs> All right, so we found America. That is good. Or actually, that is not so good because they like 
people who don't go to war in their home continent. And since we are a pretty warlike nation, we might make an enemy out of them. So probably what we want to do is make them our first enemy to deal with. And also, I think they've settled a second city up along there, which is bad news for us. That means we need to forward settle pretty quickly. All right, let's have you go towards the stone. Ooh, nice. Knowledge of sailing has advanced. All right, well, we could have gotten that one pretty easily. Diplomatic delegation, always welcome. Keep our... Uh, more credit than the wife. Yeah, let's get you onto the hilltop. And let's see. What is Tenochtitlan working with its second citizen? We are working this one and we are working that tile. Well, we can't get any more um, production out of any of the other tiles, so I'm okay with this for now. As for research, uh, animal husbandry, so that we can get the furs as well. That would be very good. As for you, you're going to follow the coast a little bit. Right, next turn. Two warriors as well. This this AI man really, really likes to cheat. And we found Seoul. That is really nice, because Seoul is a scientific city. And that means that we... Um, and we are also the first person to meet them. That is like the more important part there. Yeah, so we have Philadelphia. Because that means we get a free envoy. And that means we already get an extra plus two science in our capital city there. So very happy uh, indeed. Alright, let's have you cross the river. You need to get rid of this fog of war right there. You can go to the next turn. Stockholm. Not the first guy to meet them, unfortunately. Oh, nice. Have another uh, tribal village. We should definitely pick that up as well. Looks like we're hemmed in. So, yeah, we will definitely have to go to war with America. Right, craftsmanship. Interesting. Maybe there's something up here that I'm not seeing. So I should probably... Uh, dogs in heaven. It is not wisdom, All right. but authority. First civic complete as well. Let's get, uh, let's see, plus one production, because we don't have a lot right now. And double experience to recon, not uh, discipline when fighting barbarians. Plus five combat strength, always good. All right, let's have you go into the jungle, see what we can see over there. And our scout needs to go right there. All right, our builder is complete, and now we can improve the stone resource. As for research, well, we're going to be warlike. What? How is this looking? Two out of six. We will have another citizen in the next turn. Uh, archery probably is very good at this point. Choose a civic. Uh, foreign trade on a craftsmanship because that one is boosted. And as for production, I feel like a settler would be good. Forward settle in this area as quickly as possible. We want to really be ahead of the AI there, because they cheat like a motherfucker. Alright, let's have you improve this. Then improve the Jade. Alright, so we've seen all we can see here, really. Let's try to get there instead. Now we can improve the Jade. Another plus one production. Let's see what the city is working. So he's working this one for sure. Of course, that is really good. He's working this one as well. Actually, we can lock want this one down, and then we can lock this one down. Then we have some extra culture. We have some production that we could have had over there as well. Money is always good, but I prefer the culture. Because we don't have a monument at the moment. So this will kind of negate that fact a little bit. Alright, so we have... Um, yeah, let's improve the first, maybe. Because that we are working that one. Thanks for keeping the peace on the continent. Bully for you! <laughs> Probably not for very long. Alright, goodbye. The key, however, is starting a war before they have a chance to build walls. Because that would really be helpful. Otherwise, not so much. Looks like we have a, a tribal village. And we also have a promotion. That's really nice. Uh, let's see, we have... Uh, On the whole, I think there's more uh, hill terrain, so let's go for Alpine. As for our warrior, our warrior needs to go back towards Tenochtitlan because we have a uh, barbarian encampment right there.
Alright, so we are working this one. We only got one extra gold out of it. But two amenities, so people are a little bit happier. That is always nice. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, so we are really hemmed in by America already. Let's uh, have our scout go that direction. Look at that, that motherfucker. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects. Yeah, we are going to have to change the barbarian one because my eagle warriors are actually pretty damn powerful. I'd like to produce some more military units after we have this guy. As for you, we might have to declare a surprise war on America. Foreign trade, uh, military tradition, At this point, probably military tradition, because we can have plus 50 production, 50% uh, production toward ancient and classical era heavy and light cavalry units, and they might be very helpful in the long run. Right, so. I shot an arrow into the air. We can go to war with America, because they're being very careless. Uh, declare surprise war, warmonger penalty none, because we are in the earliest civilization possible right now. I must choose between righteousness and peace. I choose righteousness. <laughs> this was an excellent opportunity for us. Alright, so we are at war. These guys are going to cross over. And we might actually want to settle him right there as well, because we have uh, lots of uh, things that we can improve. We have we are close to a river, and then we can use our second settler to settle down here somewhere. I feel pretty good about that. As well, uh, we can now do masonry, get some walls, because you can bet your ass that America is going to come full tilt at us right now. He doesn't like this one bit. And he has the big stick policy, so we're going to see that big stick come out pretty soon, I think. Right, let's settle this set city. Um, our eagle warrior can stay on the front lines for now, and you, good sir, need to go right there. I feel like that is probably the best location for you to be. You can benefit from the mountains, you can benefit from all of these, uh, all of these things. Yeah, very nice indeed. All right. Let us get another Eagle Warrior. As for uh, Malinalco, we can do with an Archer, probably. Yeah, let's go for an Archer first. This does mean that we are going to be far behind in, in culture and science and things like that, but we need a strong defense now that we're at war with America. Wait, what? Ah! Look at that. Oh, crap. Alright. Our scouts is probably not going to survive this. Or actually, we might... Um, hmm. Yeah, let's pull back, see if we can work our way around. Probably not, but uh, you never know. Alright, somebody made Stonehenge. Alright. Let's settle our city before the barbarians get close. And then you can fall back. So research. Uh, pottery would now probably be good. Get some more uh, housing in Tenochtitlan. As for you, another archer. And we also have more gold per turn now. So we could actually try to purchase a builder. 215, or we could purchase a monument in Tenochtitlan. Um, probably though we could get some extra production out of the horses, we could get some food out of the rice paddies. I feel like that's probably the best course of action there. Or wait a little longer so we can purchase warriors when we need them. Which town are you working? You're working this style. Yeah, oh, we need more production here for sure, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's let's buy that builder. Alright, builder. Build a pasture, get some extra production there. 
Our Eagle Warrior in Tenochtitlan should probably not be on the front lines, or actually he should guard our rear and make sure that the barbarian encampment is gone. As for you, you can go in, into a Xochi Calico and fortify until you're healed. As for Tenochtitlan, uh, let's get an archer next turn. I've never been this aggressive in civilization games before. <laughs> Alright, let's get you onto the rice. America is probably building up a massive force right now. Alright, let's get our farm. Irrigation. Boosted. Alright. Uh, writing for some research. Only three turns, so that is very quick. As for you, let's have you cross the river. Our archer! Should probably head over towards uh, our new city over here, and then we will produce at this point probably um, one more archer. Yeah, as for you, oh, soul, we uh, we got an envoy because we completed their objective. It's very good. All right, so for this video, ooh, we are so so close to losing our uh, our builder, but we can get away with it. Let's build a farm and then let's move our eagle warrior across the river and go for an attack. It's a minor victory, but we'll take it. Major victory against these guys though, so definitely very very nice. These eagle warriors are extremely powerful. All right. Our archers are ready. Let's go for the attack. These guys um, probably actually Fortifantle healed for one turn, because otherwise they will be as good as dead. Let's move those guys over there. Major victory against these guys, so let's go for it. Might as well. And then for research... Uh, the wheel, because we are on rivers, and that will help out of production, and we don't have a lot of it at the moment. Right, or actually bronze working, so we can build an encampment. Yes, let's go for the encampment instead. As for Malinalco, uh, we have some warrior units now, enough to protect our cities for a little while at least. Let's go for ancient walls. You need to continue on towards uh, Xochi Calico, yeah. Those guys killed themselves, that's good. You can then... Uh, actually, yeah, let's move you up over there. Our archers need to be on the alert. You guys need to finish the job. Military tradition. Nice. Alright, uh, we could go for a major victory, but then they would kill us on the next turn. That would be bad. Uh, let's pull them back over here. Fortifantle healed. Then choose a civic uh, foreign trade, probably, because it's only nine turns. Alright. They want peace. Um, I will accept that for now. Yeah. We are in a very good position with our free cities over here. So, I'm okay. They were probably pissed that they were going to lose that warrior on the next turn. But, uh, yeah, let's move our eagle warrior back onto the rice paddy and he will fortify there. Uh, this archer will be on the alert. This archer will be on the alert. This guy... I uh, can fortify until healed in that position. Make sure that not another barbarian encampment will spawn there. Then maybe at this point we would want to build... Uh, maybe another settler. Settle along the coast here. Get the coffee, get the, the deer. Yeah, let's go for one more settler. Let's be aggressive about our early expansion. Right, nothing happening. Next turn. This is probably the best game I've ever had on this difficulty setting. Right, our archer is done. Um, let's send this archer back to Tenochtitlan. Then one of these archers can go with our new city, I guess. Right, as for Xochicalco, <laughs> god damn, that is some word. Um, ancient walls probably, because I have a feeling America is going to attack us at some point. Um, yeah, ancient walls. And also, let's see what you were working. Yeah, get the two production tiles. 
Not a whole lot of production though, and we really need to do something about that in the near future. Um, but for now, next turn. These cities are so low on production. <laughs> Tenochtitlan is actually pretty good. Alright, you have healed. So now this will probably be a good time to try to go towards that village. Alright, research. Um, we're not going for religion. I don't really care. Um, we can go for a wheel though, because the extra production would really be helpful here. Oh crap. I did not mean to engage those guys. <laughs> this is bad. Or actually, we're going to survive this turn probably, but Jesus. Alright. This is probably also why America wanted to have peace with us, because they're being uh, overwhelmed by barbarian forces. So let's draw these guys back. As for you, you're going to uh, fortify right there. Yep, next turn. Every nation lives by exchanging. Yep, trader, that's nice. You need to be on the front line, so I'm going to send you towards our newest city that is closest to the front. Um, early Empire, yes. You can go right there and fortify. This archer can go here. And if these guys get closer, we can take a shot, I suppose. Fortify for now. Need more housing in Tenochtitlan. Yeah, okay. We are at 5 out of 6. 24 turns until uh, growth, though, so not really worried. Actually, these guys are in range, but let's fall back to the town and then attack so that we will very much or be certain that we are safe. One more turn and we will have another settler, so that is good. You guys, um, go there then, I suppose, yep. Ah, the wheel damn it. Slowly. I forgot about those guys. Alright, let's get our settler. Could we settle over here? Yes, we could. This would probably be even better. Yeah, so let's go right there. So research. This these things have gone by very quickly. Uh, we could definitely use iron working. Find iron. Irrigation. Do we need irrigation? No, not really. Horseback riding could be okay. Horsemen, yeah, because we we're not actually able to build anything like uh, cavalry yet, even though we get a boost for it. All right, let's um, go for the sure kill. Actually, this might be helping out America too much, but we also need to keep them away from our borders. As for Tenochtitlan... Um, yeah, he's okay with housing for now. Eight turns until growth. Actually... A campus would be good. Yeah. Plus two over here if we spend 105 gold. Yeah, sure, plus two will help. Let's send it right there. And then go to the next turn. Alright, more experience for our archers is also pretty good, however, so... <laughs> Alright, they're in American territory right now. I'm going to pull back and fortify. They can get away with this. I don't care. Right, where were we going? We were going right here, right? Yes, we were. Alright, let's switch between uh, units here. And we have now Atska Potsalko. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> these names are getting worse and worse. And I pride myself on trying to pronounce all of these words correctly, but god damn, it's not easy. Alright. In this location, let's start building a monument because it is pretty safe, because it's in the rear. And we are lacking culture quite a bit, so. Man, we really need a builder after this. Next turn. Malinalco is growing pretty quickly. That is good news. And we are now in the classical era, which means that if we no declare war now... It was luxuries and um, air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. Yeah, at this point we don't really need a settler boost anymore. 
they couldn't hear the barbarians coming. All right, choose research. What will we do next? Iron working. Yeah, let's go for more military stuff. As for civics, um, state workforce, and then political philosophy. Yes, indeed. All right. We have a new quest. They want us to construct a holy site. Yeah, that is not very likely to happen, actually. All right, so knowledge of engineering has advanced considerably. Not entirely sure why. Ah, uh, because we finished building walls. Is that it? All right, so this location is actually pretty secure. We could go for a water mill, get plus one food, plus one production, but we probably want to go granary first, or monument first even, for the extra culture, and we do need it. Granary for, uh, yeah, let's go granary first. Then maybe Monument or Water Mill. Alright, that's next turn. You, good sir, need to be on the front lines, not in the rear, over there. Alright, let's move you right there, and then fortify. Next turn. Actually, we're going to go until turn 60, because I think this episode is going to be like 45 minutes, maybe. That's good enough, you know, for a game like Civilization 6. All right, we have a new barbarian unit. They're out of range. Let's move our archer forward so they, they can move into range on the next turn. Need more housing, ten of Titlan. Oh yeah, okay. Again, but that is fine. Ooh, we have a scout. Yeah, let's let us take care of the scout. And this warrior can uh, can stay in American territory. That is absolutely fine. Alright, let's kill off this scout. And then for production in... Wow, it has grown very quickly too. Let's get a builder over here. Start improving some of these tiles. Alright, ancient and classical wonders. Unit maintenance reduced by one. Maybe that would be good, yeah. Let's take conscription for a little bit. As for our archer, uh, let's have you move over here. We could take that shot, but you know what? Let's uh, promote them instead. Get volley, and then for production in Tenochtitlan, um, granary right now. Make sure we have a lot of people working this area. Now we need to meet three city-states. We've met two, but our... Uh, actually, maybe our Eagle Warrior can go down and get this uh, tribal village, if it's still around. And our Archer the Lord made us all out of needs to uh, definitely take care of this guy then. Yep. They're becoming a nuisance. Ooh. Alright. What next? Irrigation we still don't really need, and it can be done in one turn when we need it. So I'm not going to waste that time right now. We go for Catapult. Philadelphia and Washington are pretty weak at the moment. Um, currency. Terracotta Army. Let's see. All current units get a promotion level. All, or All archaeologists from the owner may enter foreign lands without open borders. Must be built on flat grasslands or plains. Adjacent to an encampment district with a barracks or stable. Wow, that's a pretty heavy on requirements there. Actually, you know what? Let's go for um, engineering. Yeah. Make sure we were able to deal with these walls when the time comes. Alright. Um, maybe you can help out here for a second. Let's uh, promote these guys. Take Battle Cry. Chicago needs to have uh, some housing pretty soon. Alright, let's get you onto that hill tile there. Major victory. Oh, yes. Jesus, that is powerful. Ooh, alright. Well, um, let's take that shot. Finish him off with the Eagle Warriors. 
Let's see, so an unmet player has finished building the World Wonder Hanging Gardens. Alright. Oh damn, we've reached turn 60. <laughs> oh crap. Um, oh man, our Eagle Warrior needs to fall back there. Needs to get out of range of that thing. Maybe move over there. It's probably the safest place to be right now. Alright. We have enough housing to last us for a little bit. Maybe... A monument or a library. We're lacking culture. So actually, let's go for a monument right now. That's going to be it for this episode. So, please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and want to see more. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.